In this video, we're going to go over the visualization in AutoCAD. Um, so here we have two lines that are skewed. That means that they're crossing in the views, but they don't actually touch each other. So we want to figure out which one is closer to the viewer in the top view and in the front view. So how we do it is, so from the top view, we're going to draw a line down from that intersection, or the apparent intersection, and see which line we hit first. So I hit this line first. That means that this line is now going to be visible on this view. So that's going to become a visible line. I'm just going to color that magenta so we know which one's on top. I can do the same thing the opposite way from here going up. So I hit the shorter line. That means that, that this line here is on top in the front view. Here I have some points set up and they're kind of big so I'm going to regen RE. And so now I'm going to to bring those down. So points A through C are on the plane. So point A, oh, oh snap's not working. So right click, turn on my node O oh, snap so I can get that point. So there's point A, point C, point B, and then they're all going to connect up to point D. And then in the top view, they're all going to connect. each other. So it's kind of a leaning pyramid thing. Um, so I'm also going to copy down my identifiers so I know what points are what. And it, where exactly these are doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that I can keep track of which point is which. So now I need to figure out what's on top here. So if I look at this I have line DC and line AB. So as I come down from there, here's line DC. I hit that well before I hit line AB. So that means that line AB is going to be a hidden line. So that was pretty easy. But now I need to know whether this line is hidden or visible. So in order to do that, I need to compare that edge to the face B, C, D. So B, C, D here and line A, D there. And so what I can do is just kind of from anywhere on that line, so maybe I'll use nearest, I'll just come up and see what I hit first. So when I come up, I hit this plane, um, B, C, D, and I get all the way through that plane before I hit line A, D. That means that line A, D is going to be hidden. I can do the same thing here. Connect these points. And this is just a another one, but now it's not. Um, there's no horizontal surface on it to work from. So I just have kind of a, a floating prism in, in the middle. So from this intersection. And I'm going to color code these so I can know what's going on. So that's BA and BA. Make those red. DC and DC. Maybe I'll make those green. So when I project, I can see that, okay, I hit that green line first. So that means that this one is the hidden line. Then I'll do the same thing here. So BC, BC. Maybe I'll make that cyan, and then AD, and AD, and maybe I'll make that magenta. So I can bring that line from this intersection up. I hit the cyan line first. That means that B or AD is now my hidden line. So I hope that helps. Um, and if I wanted to project off to the side view, I would project just like I did in the points and planes video, um, and I can do the visibility also. So.